Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Crazy Over Parties. Before we get started, you guys, make sure you like, subscribe, share the channel with all your friends, family, and other creators. Okay, so today we are making a streamer backdrop. So this is a super easy project. It's just very time consuming. I have a first birthday party Elmo theme coming up. And I figured that since I'm going to be making the streamer backdrop anyway, I might as well share a how-to video with you guys on how to do it. It's very inexpensive. It's just time consuming. I think we're going to do two of each color because it's Elmo theme or it's actually Sesame Street. So literally, this is all you need is a table cover. They're 99 cents. And we're going to cut them into little strips. But keep watching. We're going to show you exactly how to do it. Hey guys, all right. So let's get started on creating this streamer backdrop. As you can see, I have all my tablecloths lined up by the color. I purchased two of each pack, which I'm sure is gonna to be too much, but I prefer to have too much than to not have enough. In addition to the tablecloths, I have my ruler, I have my rolling scissors thing, and I have my clothesline. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we were outside, but I had to come in because the wind was just blowing everything everywhere. So I said, let me just come back in in the garage and make the video. So we have my tablecloth here, we have the ruler, clothesline again, and then my cookie cutter thing. I have no idea what this is called still, but whatever it, the name of it is, it's great. Like I said, if I were to use uh, scissors I would literally have to draw a line with the ruler and then cut it with this I can put my ruler down and then hold it down and then just draw and just cut rather just I've been doing it twice just to make sure that I have a easy or it's cut completely but even if I were to do it just one time it still cuts it's just as good so I'm going to continue cutting I'm gonna show you guys, it's just that simple. I'm just cutting the tablecloth, that's it. And I'm gonna to continue to cut the tablecloth until I have enough strips of each color. So I wanted to make this for both the ceiling and over one of my backdrops. So I that's what the purpose of me buying two of each color, just to simply make sure I have enough. You can see I went over that one. I didn't cut deep enough, but it's still easy. I just go back over it and I cut it again and I'm done. So if you have access to this thing, I have, like I said, I don't know what it's called, but buy this for this project. It's just that much easier. So let's keep cutting um, and we'll come back and I'll show you guys how to tie it on to the fold line. So now I'm starting my yellow tablecloth and I found a little trick. So instead of opening the tablecloth the full way, just keep it doubled and you get twice as many strips as you would just doing it single. So keep it double. You're gonna do the same thing that we've been doing with the red one. Just cut a little bit harder with your cookie cutter thing and see instead of one strip, you're getting two now. So let's just keep it going. I'm going to do a couple more of these and then I am going to stop and I'm going to show you how to tighten them on the fold line. All right, just one more strip. makes it a little bit faster it's still a long process which is why I'm not sure how much people charge for this but I'm sure it's not cheap because it's very time-consuming 
So now I have my clothesline and I'm opening it up. I'm gonna find the end. I've literally never used a clothesline before, so it's the first time for everything. So open it up, open, open, open. Where are you in to the clothesline? Let's see. If you hear that little chatter in the background, that's my two-year-old son, Ezekiel. He's probably always going to be around when I'm making a video, so y'all excuse him if he butts in. Okay, so I found the end. So now... I'm simply going to open my tablecloth and I'm just gonna make it somewhat even, you can see. And I have my clothesline here. I'm simply gonna tie a knot, loop it, and tie a knot around it. So I'm gonna zoom in and do it so you guys can see exactly what I did. But that is it. I hope you guys can see that. That's what it's gonna look like. So let's do it again, okay? I'm opening my tip cloth like that. I am putting it on the rope like this and then I'm going to make a small knot pull it through like that okay I'm gonna do a couple more of these so you guys can see Play. See what I'm saying? He's always gonna be here. <laughs> you have your tablecloth. Put it in half. Putting it on my clothesline. And I'm looping it again. Pulling it through. Pulling it tight, and voila. So you can see, I actually did, accidentally did the first one the opposite way, but it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm gonna do it again for you guys, and then I'm gonna do one with a red one. So like I said, I'm gonna be doing this for probably two weeks because it's time consuming, but I will post the end product because I am going to post the Elmo card when it gets here so you guys can see how I used it. But again, pulling it through. And we pull like that. So if I because I'm okay. Right, guys so now you see I have a red portion and a yellow section so it's simply let's say if you wanted to switch colors or if you didn't want let's say the red was closer to the yellow you easily can slide these down by just pushing it down they move 
So if you want to switch out the colors, if you have something and then you decide, well, I'm gonna make it further down, just push it down and you can add whatever color you want to in the middle. So I'm gonna get this finished. I'm gonna add some more colors to it and then I'm gonna post the end result. So you guys stay tuned and let's get some more of these streamers going. guys and this is the end result of when you tie them on the string I am also thinking about cutting them but I kind of wanted to cut them at the party because I don't want to cut the wrong strips and they may be too long for the backdrop but just for the sake of showing you guys I'm going to cut it now or one color now okay guys so I'm thinking that I'm going to cut the red so you guys can see it. I really just put the backdrop on the wall in my garage for the simplicity of cutting it. And I have my ruler, I'm just pushing it down to where I kind of want to cut it at so it can be even. And then I have my cutter thing again and I'm just going to cut against the wall. And even if it doesn't cut again or cut, you can just roll it over again and it should cut it. If you guys see, you see it's falling down. And now I can hold it because I already see where the cuts are at. And I'm just gonna pull it off. Someone may have a better way to do this. If you do, help us all share in the comments about an easier way to cut, but figured since I have my ruler and my cutter why not cut it that way pull this blue out of here and just cut it again and you see they're falling off all right guys and that is it for this video again make sure you subscribe to the channel like share comment below and I promise to include the video of the official Elmo party and the end result of everything but until next time see you guys later